Oh, hi there. How are you all doing? I'm Christian. I'm a software engineer and core contributor to the WebDriver project. Today, I'm excited to announce the release of the new WebDriver version 7. I would like to take this next couple of minutes to walk you through some of these new features that will come up in the new version. We've been really working hard over the last couple of months to <clears throat> make this release happen. And a lot of people have been involved um, achieving this goal. Um, one of the major new features that will come with WebDriver version 7 is the TypeScript support or TypeScript rewrites. WebDriver already, su already supported TypeScript before, but now we have rewritten the complete code base into TypeScript as well. This will help us to continue the development of the project and grow our, project, uh, our code base without introducing bugs and uh, type, um, type insecurities. Furthermore, we also improved the uh, test runner to now auto-compile your WDO config from TypeScript into JavaScript, so you can have this type safety also in your configuration. Next, we have uh, updated our Google Lighthouse integration into the WDO DevTools service that will now allow, us, allow you to use the latest metrics uh, to, for performance testing. We also added a new command called check PWA that allows you to check for various of properties um, that a PWA uh, comes with to make sure that uh, your application is up to the latest standard. Furthermore, we added uh, kept, uh, code coverage support for the DevTools service um, that will allow you to not only capture the code coverage to, uh, and create a report automatically, but also test the code coverage within your test. So you can make sure that you have test all areas of your UI um, and don't leave anything out. And besides from that, we also take another step at our documentation page and uh, revamped it, uh, added a complete new design to it. And um, we updated our um, backend uh, from Docker's version one to version two, which now allows you to also view this page in dark mode, which is really fancy. Um, we added a community section that allows you to have a look into a lot of learning materials around the project um, and um, other resources that help you to get up to speed with WebDriver. And besides that, we did a lot of more improvements under the hood. We updated to Cucumber version 7. Uh, we dropped Node.js support uh, for version 10 and below. Um, and improve the Node.js support for version 14 and up uh, through the upgrade to Fibers version 5. Uh, we added stricter checks for mixed capabilities between the WebDriver and the JSON Wire protocol, so make sure that your capabilities are up to date. And there are a lot of other really small bug fixes that we have done along the way while rewriting the um, code base. I want to thank everyone who has been involved over the last couple of months, um, making sure that the code base is rewritten, that is up to uh, latest uh, development standards. Um, and everyone on this uh, picture here has been involved. And I really thank everyone uh, who has been. And um, I'm looking forward to continue working with you all on the next versions of WebDevIO. Until then, see you all. Stay healthy.